Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you a new Turkish lesson and uh, here we are going to learn how to say after like after doing something or after something happens so let's go through the lesson and if it is useful for you do not forget to like my video. Thank you. So in the formula we have the noun and then we have then or done suffix based on the harmony of vowels. Then we have the word sonra. And together it means after something, and that something will be this noun here. If mm, this uh, word ends with any of these sounds, like th, th, t, k, ch, sh, th, th, um, we will turn the letter D in the suffix to T and dan sonra actually will be tan sonra dan sonra will be tan sonra and together it means after blah blah blah For example, we have kahvaltıdan sonra, which means after breakfast. Bunlardan sonra, after these. Adana'dan sonra, after Adana. Adana is a city. Öğleden sonra, afternoon. Senden sonra, after you. İzmir dan sonra after İzmir and İzmir is a city. Duraktan sonra means after bus stop. İkinci sokaktan sonra after the second street. Savaştan sonra means after savaş. Okay, here I have chosen Savash as a name, um, name of a man, and uh, it means war. If the word means war, here it will mean after war. But here I just meant a name. Değişiklikten sonra after the change. This one is a bit confusing. Let me pronounce it again. Değişiklik tan sonra. Okay. Dilek tan sonra. Means after dilek. Dilek means, and dilek is the name of a lady. Kelki tan sonra. After Calcute. Okay, as you see here in these six letters, I chose the words which could end with k, sh, t, sorry, k, and again t sound, and we have the suffix changing from don to tan and changing from dan to tan, as you see. Here we had these ones. Next we have the subject. We have the plural first person simple past verb. And then we have then or done as a suffix. 
actually not den, but it is pronounced here dan. Dan or don as a suffix, and then these two are going to mean after the action that the subject does. Okay, if you go through the examples, it will be easier, but first of all, I want you to understand the formula. And if, um, actually, this, this plural first person simple past ends to k, that's why dan and uh, don will be tan and tan. You will see in the examples. We have yaptık tan sonra, which means, uh, which it can be ben yaptıktan sonra means after I did. Whenever the subject changes, it will uh, change in the meaning as well. There is something. Um, as you see, I have translated this to uh, a past tense verb. Actually, it doesn't have the meaning of the verb in a form of a tense in simple present or um, past or future. Uh, this structure is used in any case of uh, different tenses and you can use them without uh, assuming that it has a tense because in the meaning it will be related to the tense of the whole sentence so this is only a clause a clause of time which is used for after and its meaning uh, I have sometimes translated in simple past, sometimes in simple present. Both are possible. I just randomly chose to translate like this. But actually, you will understand the meaning of this, uh, the tense of actually uh, this clause according to the rest of the sentence, which would be the main clause. Uyuduk tan sonra Ben uyuduk tan sonra is after I sleep. It could be after I slept. Doesn't matter. Uyanduk tan sonra Ben uyanduk tan sonra It means after I wake up. If the rest of the sentence goes with past tense, it is going to mean after I woke up. Yaptıktan sonra, after doing. Uyuduktan sonra, after sleeping. Uyandıktan sonra, after waking up. So as you see, if I do not have a subject here, it will mean a general meaning for the uh, word. Oh, I have two T's here. No problem. I'll fix it for you right away. Ta-da! Okay. <clears throat> Here we have uh, the gerund form for you to understand the meaning. But if it had a subject, it would relate to that subject. If we don't have a subject here, it will mean something like this structure. Okay, we have ethic. Tan, sonra. 
ettikten sonra means ben ettikten sonra means after I do it geldikten sonra ben geldikten sonra means after I came or after I come gittik ten sonra ben gittikten sonra means after I went or after I go okay here we have um, in the previous examples we had ton and in this example series we have ten Ettikten sonra means after doing. Geldikten sonra means after coming. Gittikten sonra means after going. Okay. For each subject, uh, I decided to write all these words. Uh, these are very popular words that you may use it in this phrase for this clause and I'll go through the meaning and also I will read all of them so you will get the pronunciation. Ben yaptıktan sonra after I do Sen yaptıktan sonra after you do O yaptıktan sonra after he does Biz yaptıktan sonra after we do Siz yaptıktan sonra after you do, onlar yaptıktan sonra after they do. Ben uyuduktan sonra after I sleep, sen uyuduktan sonra after you sleep, o uyuduktan sonra after he sleeps, biz uyuduktan sonra after we sleep, siz uyuduktan sonra after you sleep, Onlar uyuduktan sonra after they sleep. Ben uyandıktan sonra after I woke up. Sen uyandıktan sonra after you woke up. O uyandıktan sonra after he woke up. Biz uyandıktan sonra after we woke up. Siz uyandıktan sonra after you woke up. Plural. Onlar uyandıktan sonra after they woke up. As you see, you can put any word here in this phrase and you practice conjugating uh, these series. Ben ettikten sonra after I do, sen ettikten sonra after you do, o ettikten sonra after he does, biz ettikten sonra after we do, siz ettikten sonra after you do, onlar ettikten sonra after they do. Ben gittikten sonra after we went, sen gittikten sonra after you went, O gittikten sonra after he went, biz gittikten sonra after we went, um, siz gittikten sonra after you went, plural, onlar gittikten sonra after they went. Ben geldikten sonra after I come, sen geldikten sonra after you come. O geldikten sonra after he comes, biz geldikten sonra after we come, siz geldikten sonra after you come, onlar geldikten sonra after they come. Okay, here we are at the end of the video. If you liked it, if it was beneficial, please do not forget to like and ask any questions that you have. If you want to see more videos, Please write some comments for me. That will really help and motivate me. Have a nice day. Practice a lot. Practice makes perfect.